Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the EK Supremacy CPU water block. This CPU water block is a the nickel plexi version. You can get it in a copper plexi, uh, copper acetyl and nickel acetyl. Uh, the nickel said that the uh, base of the block is made of copper and nickel plating. And there's no benefit of perfor and performance, but it just looks better. So here we have the mounting hardware. Let's see what is in it. We have the jet plates. This is the universal one because I only got the 1150X ones on my uh, water block. And this is the 2011 one. The difference between the uh, 1155 slash 1156 jet plate to the universal one is the universal one is 0.8 millimeter thick and the uh, 1155 slash 1156 is one millimeter thick. We have uh, springs to avoid uh, over tightening the screws. We have a little Allen key to uh, switch the uh, jet plate. We have those little thumb screws, very nice thumb screws. We have the uh, regular mounting hardware, hardware and the 2011 mounting hardware because hardware, the 2011 socket have a built-in back uh, like a thread in the socket. Um, what else we have? Oh, we have these uh, plastic washers, and that's about it. Let's collect this and put it aside. So hopefully, wouldn't. Oh, you don't need to look there. Um, we have an AMD uh, mounting plate and an installation guide with the table of contents and we have the block itself put here we have a high quality GLib GC Extreme Thermal Compound and we have back plates so first of all let's go to the this is the highest performing thermal compound under air cooling and water cooling that some websites have found this is very nice to, from EK to include it because it's like 13 bucks uh, separately. Very nice. We have those uh, back plates, very, very heavy back plates. It's a uh, couple, so it's understandable. Let's get it out of the wrapping. This is, wow, this is the 1155 or 1156 back plate. It is a new universal rubber gasket, and this is 1366. As I mentioned, 2011 doesn't require a backplate because the thread is already on the CPU socket area. Now let's see the block itself. As you can see, it comes in the new EK circle, circle square design, which is like squarish with circles on it. Uh, on the side, you have the Supreme C. On the other side, you have uh, two places for, uh, I think, these are 3 millimeter LEDs. Here you can see through the uh, matrix of the board, of the block inside, that the, this is the inlet and this is the outlet. It's very important because uh, the inlet is positioned just above the jet plate, and the jet plate is force, forces the water to pass through the uh, matrix in the block itself. Then the, goes, the water goes out. You can install it that way, but the performance will be poor. It comes pre-installed with the Intel mounting plate. You can remove it by, uh, you can replace it by removing uh, all four screws that the, that the Allen key can help you with and replace the uh, mounting plate and the jet plate inside. I, w I wouldn't open it now, but I say that uh, the mounting plate uh, has an o-ring um, like you know around it and the jet plate have another o-ring that she, she sits on so uh, for replacing the jet plate just need to take it and replace it and uh, you know put the cold plate back in as you can see this is the nickel plated base very shiny it's polished and uh, flattened for uh, perfect contact it's not uh, recommended to touch it but we will See the finger, the finger shot. You can see my finger is reflecting there. Um, don't remove it. Oh, the cameraman won't show up. Hi, cameraman. 
No, no, no. Just, just camera. Okay. Hi, camera. Okay. So I think this is pretty much it about a block. Um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and favorite if you want to see more. We have mm. lots. What? Never mind. Um, we have a, a lot of uh, cool water cooling stuff coming up. Stay tuned.